Folks, this is Kwabana from OpenMV, and today I'm going to be showing off a new feature that we have baked into every OpenMV CAM model now, which is person detection. So, in firmware version 3.5, we've now enabled person detection to run on your OpenMV CAM, powered by Google's TensorFlow Lite system. With TensorFlow Lite baked onto your OpenMV CAM now, you're going to be able to load models, uh, TensorFlow Lite models, into RAM, and then classify the pictures in the images on your OpenMV CAM. Um, and so this is all running on board. Um, we're running a uh, model that can do about uh, two FPS. And so this model in particular is able to detect people. And this model will run on the OpenMV Cam H7 and OpenMV Cam M7. Um, and so we can move around in the field of view and the model will detect me as long as I'm more or less within the uh, picture frame and not kind of standing behind the light so much where the exposure is quite bad. Um, and so you can see it says person while I'm in the field of view. And then if I move outside the field of view, no person. Cool. And so if we point this at the ground just to get um, a better image quality so that the you know, lighting isn't too strong there, we can kind of pick up there being a person or no person in the field of view. So if I get down on my knee, it can kind of see me there and say there's a person there. And if I move out of the field of view, no person. Cool. And so this feature actually runs on grayscale images. Um, in, in particular, it's a 96 by 96 neural network that's running on your OpenMV cam. And uh, we have all the library support that automatically takes whatever picture you feed the network and it automatically uh, resizes that uh, the input image to the correct size for the model, feeds to, to the model, and then gets the, la the uh, label activations and spits that out. And so on our example script shows, uh, shows how to go about um, running the network. Additionally, you can do stuff like uh, detect not just the whole field of view, but also fire the network on different areas of the image. And so with this example, we can actually run the network um, on the image like a sliding window. And this will help you if you need to see uh, more detail. Um, for example, the network can only see 96 by 96 pixels, but um, with a uh, with the sliding window method, you can kind of zoom in on particular areas um, that will allow you to uh, run the network on smaller patches inside of the image to deal with more distance. And so for this example, you can see the outer window detection sees that there's a person there, but the inner one doesn't see there's a person. But if I kind of back up and um, move my head into the field of view, both of them now detect there's a person in the field of view. And so this is the neural network being run twice on the same image. And so if we kind of stay within the uh, larger network's field of view, it can see there's a person, but the middle, the smaller one doesn't see there's a person. And if we move back into the uh, smaller network's field of view, it detects there's a person there also. Neat. All right. Cool. So. Um, the main goal of this demo is just to show off that we now have uh, TensorFlow Lite running on the OpenMV Cam and it's fully operational um, on firmware version 3.5. Um, and additionally, you have person detection now built into all OpenMV Cams. Um, thank you for watching. Um, we hope that um, with TensorFlow you'll be able to use your OpenMV Cam in much uh, larger applications. And just to note, um, if you'd like to train your own models, uh, we also have documentation on how to do that. So if you go to OpenMV Docs, we uh, recently updated that um, for firmware version um, 3.5, and we also have MicroPython 1.11 .1 running on board now, which is the latest version of MicroPython. And so if we go to the Libraries folder and go to TensorFlow, um, we have documentation on how big the models you can load on the OpenMV Cam can be along with um, exactly all the functions available to run things. And uh, Google has an awesome in-depth guide on how they trained the uh, person detector model and how you can train your own model um, and how to go about that and run the right commands to do so using TensorFlow. Um, so now with OpenMV Cam, you can actually leverage uh, something like MobileNet, uh, a pre-trained model, and you can shave off the um, the fully connected layer at the back of the model and then retrain it actually with um, just the outputs you need for like a, a, a few, like a two to three classifier um, network basically to do something like person detection or like dog detection or hot dog, no hot dog detection. All right. 
Um, thank you for watching. And so we're going to be pushing out uh, just uh, more features to support making models easier to train and build those features into OpenMV IDE in the future. Um, anyway, that's all. Thank you.